Welcome back as we continue our tour of Salzburg, Austria. Today we're heading to visit the Salzburg Castle. You know, the one that overlooks the city. So please keep watching. The fortress is within walking distance from anywhere within the Old City. To find it, walk towards the west side of Old City and walk towards the fortress you see up on the hill. You can see the fortress on the left upper part of your screen. Once you get to the base of the hill where the fortress is located, you can walk on up or do what most people do and take the funicular. Once you arrive at the central courtyard, look for the man standing on the golden ball. That will lead you in the right direction. You can see him through the arches. If you stand in front and then look to your left, you can see the alleyway that leads you to the fortress. It's a short walk and you'll see the funicular ticket office on the right hand side. The ticket price includes the write up on the funicular as well as the admission to the fortress. You have a choice of a basic ticket or an all inclusive ticket. The all inclusive includes the Regency rooms and the Magic Theater. We chose the basic ticket, which is sort of like getting ice cream without the sprinkles, but it was still fine. After a short ride on the funicular, you arrive at the outer walls of the fortress. Construction of the fortress began in 1077 at the request of the Prince Archbishop of Salzburg. Over the centuries, it had many additions, resulting in the fortress that you see today. Of note, it is one of the largest medieval castles in Europe. The views from the fortress are spectacular. And as you explore the fortress inside and out, you'll feel like you step back in time. Check out the display of the ancient armor. Archbishop Wolf Dietrich was imprisoned in this fortress and died here in 1617. Inside the castle, what's behind the door? Don't open it. When you go outside and stand in the central courtyard, you realize this fortress was really a small city. And from the many balconies, stop and enjoy the view.
and climb up one of the towers for a spectacular panoramic 360 view. And when you're done, head on down and try not to get dizzy. And if you're hungry, have a bite to eat at the restaurant on the fortress grounds. And when you're ready to go home, just take the funicular back down. But the fun doesn't have to end here. Back in Old City, at the base of the fortress, there are several old churches you can visit. There are St. Michael's Cathedral, St. Peter's, the Franciscan Church, and the University Church, all within a few blocks of each other and open to the public. But before you head inside the churches, listen to the sound of the violin in the courtyard. And don't forget to explore the basement. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you'll know when I upload the next video. Until next time, safe travels.